Hello my friends and today I wanted to talk about customized face mask I was showing you with my last video and today my daughter Danny will help me to show how to use Bellus 3D app to take face scan and my daughter kindly help me uh, to show how to do it. Look at the camera. Turn left. Turn to the middle. Turn right. Turn to the middle. Tilt your head up. Turn to the middle. Tilt your head down. Turn to the middle. Capture completed. And now app will calculate this face scan and it's gonna be appeared just in a couple of seconds over the screen. Yeah. Now we have this face scan to be saved and sent out as SEO file for example through email or any other ways to any direction. folder over my computer. I've just opened my folder with face scan of my daughter. It is here and also I have a Montana mask as STL file and some additional DCM file to be implemented in my software through the control panel as attachments uh, and just in a couple of seconds I will show you how to do it in control panel control panel and in the middle of the screen we have attachments there are plenty of them in uh, them in my system and I've done with um, this kind of mask attachment here but I want to just to repeat it for you and we need to add this new attachment and go to name it so, like COVID-19 mask and what we need to do, we need to click on the attachment visual model path to pick up this, um, this file. And this file should be located in dental system control panel over the drive C. This is drive C, three shape con configuration, dental system dental system control panel, go to libraries and go again to tree shape. Here I have specific folder customized tray and I have this uh, STL file, Montana mask file here. I need to click open and afterward I need to choose what I wanna to do with this file. I wanna to edit this shape to my future design. Uh, I wanna to subtract my uh, design by this shape. Uh, in our case, I'd like to add it. It means I need to pick up exactly the same in part of my attachment. What I need to do more is just scroll down to choose attachment category. I'd prefer to keep it in customized tray uh, in the list of the very uh, uh, last choice. I have this file under this folder. And uh, we've just done with order form. 
to create a customized impression tray uh, under the uh, face mask and we're just importing our scan the face scan of Daniela into this case and uh, play with splints to put uh, base on this step let's pick up, pick up uh, the attachment of this mask and place it over the scan to place in the correct position using red and blue dots all around this attachment the orientation of the placement could be really useful with the additional scan done before and click play to attach this attachment to the base now it looks like this we could use wax knife to sculpt our and also we could take away scan to place our Uh, our uh, plain attachment to fill in gap between standard mask and uh, and the base and we need to adjust this attachment one by one to fill in this gap and smooth over the mask to make the smooth connection between mask and base also add some ring attachments as additional holders of the mask go next to pre-manufacturing step and make sure this create perforation checkbox is empty to don't have any holes all around the base and hit next to save everything and now we have this mask to generate STL output and use any 3d printer to print out this mask as well as a filter holder here which is standard holder the same as the, the regular mask now we have this 3D face mask as STL file generated after our design. Thank you for your attention.